que siga la, el ritmo de la canción. Ajá. Okay. Los dos juntos, ¿eh? Ahí vamos a bailar. Los, los, los bichos, solamente los no. niños. From the soles of my shoes to the top of my head, I dedicate myself to the music, no regrets. If you feel me too, Don't I was in the gang. <laughs> there ain't no limit, you and I can't share. I didn't like that I was Mexican. Doesn't really matter, your actions take place in your words and reality. I actually got stabbed over drugs, and I was 14 years old. I felt kind of lost and didn't know who I was. I didn't really care about school, so I would skip and like, I'd just stay at the house or walk around with my friends. We came, we first we were homeless when we came here and we were living on the streets, we were living in the car, me and all, the, all my brothers and just my dad. El Centro isn't only for Mexicans or Latinos, it's for everyone. And if you go there and you need help, they'll help you. I've never really been in a positive environment. When I come to El Centro, uh, there's nothing but positive people there. I came, I came to El Centro a long time ago when I was probably like eight years old. I'm in the Seattle Youth Program. I went into Proyecto Bear for credit retrieval. I've been involved in Seattle Team for Youth for a long time to help me get in and out of schools. Music means everything to me. Music has always been a big part of my life. I mean, my dad would used to sing with me and play guitar when I was younger. Music was one thing that would never leave me. But when I got over here to, uh, to El Centro, uh, they gave me professional equipment. They got me to a really good school that I needed where I could get a whole bunch of help and stuff. Like, they help you out so much, you don't even know it's help. I was just going down the wrong road, and when I got to El Centro, it just gave me a place to, <clears throat> place to go, really. El Centro, I learned the history through El Centro, and I thought, wow, why would I be ashamed of my heritage? It's really amazing. I'll probably still be in high school if it wasn't for a centro. I had no credits. I was getting ready to give up on school. I'm really grateful that they helped me out because I really think that I wouldn't have graduated. It will help a lot of teens stay in school and out of trouble. If El Centro was never part of my life, um, I probably would be dead or in jail. They should give as much money as they can, because El Centro really does help the youth. If we want to continue having these services and helping other people in the community, we need donations. <laughs> there ain't no limit, you and I can't shatter. What you say doesn't really matter. Your actions take place in your words and reality. Since I'm living positive, a lot of people mad at me. Mostly people close to me like homies in my family. Nobody got my back, it's lonely, really sad to see. Everybody turn their back knowing that it's you and me. I walk around drifting late into the night time and wonder who still keeps me in their bedtime prayers. But then I don't care, cause life for me wasn't ever near fair. But I kept on climbing straight to the top, concentrating on my rhyming. I ain't gonna stop till I D.I.E. Music never overlooked me when I was lonely and cold, three in the morning on the streets.